Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader and this is a special report for the eclipses and the months of September 2016. So we're heading towards a very powerful solar eclipse on September 1st. It's going to be on 9 degrees uh, Virgo and it's going to affect especially people with planets in the beginning of Virgo, beginning of Pisces, beginning of Gemini, and beginning of Sagittarius, being more affected by this eclipse. And this degree is a very active degree. It's the degree that Mars was retrograding in for the past nine months. It's the degree that we're going to have another eclipse in February 2017. So people with these degrees and important places in your natal chart, look in your natal chart and see what's happening there around those degrees and in the angles to those degrees and see what is affected in your life. It's a good, it's a good uh, exercise for you, getting awareness regarding how this touches you personally. So what is an eclipse? An eclipse is a portal. An eclipse is a time in which we can uh, rise up and lift off from one landing strip and, 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 and land back down on a totally different airfield, totally different country, different scenario. Things could change from day to night, from cold to warm, from up to down, without even us noticing it. There is no relation to time and space. Very, very deep differences and changes in people's lives are happening in a very small uh, um, period of time. People that are in relationships can stop being in relationships. People who don't have a relationship can find true love. People who don't have a job can find one. People can lose their jobs. People, God forbid, can have terrible accidents. Life-changing events that have an effect for a long period of time can happen with eclipses. And it's a sort of a wild card. We never know what's going to happen exactly. So is this a time that we should sit at home with the lights out? No. This is a time that we should believe in positivity, that we should go in and do things, and we should be doing them with carefulness. Being full of care, okay? And believing in light and believing in good. And this will pay off, folks. If you continue to do what you believe in right now and doing it carefully, it will pay off. So that eclipse in, uh, in 9 degrees Virgo is a lot about us understanding our relationship to nature and our relationship to animals and our relationship to the natural world, to resources, to becoming more um, efficient and better skilled with using our resources. It's about us understanding how stupid we were thinking that animals were not as sentient or uh, had feelings like we did. It's about us getting all this knowledge and all these skills regarding how to utilize our own talents and our own resources. It's about becoming better. It's about house cleansing. It's about cleansing our own energetic system, our own body. It's about finding a healthier way of life personally in our life and generally, communally. So this eclipse in Virgo is about us understanding that whether we like it or not, there are patterns within us within the way we lead our own lives, whether it is personally or communally as a society, that needs changing, that needs updating. We need to become more skillful. We need to become better. And we need to adapt a healthier and an up, a, 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 a more advanced, a more cultured way of life where it is what we eat and how we eat it, whether it is exercise, whether it is the way we treat others, and especially others that we consider different, different than ourselves, like other species, like our environment. So it's about intervention. 
and it's about focus and and house cleaning and healing and understanding that this is a time that we can purify our own system and purify our own surroundings and communities and it's it's a it's a harsh term purifying that was used about 60 years ago by totalitarian regimes don't take it to that dark place take it to a very holistic healing place okay it's really about healing and it's about being brave enough to know that who we were was just a stepping stone for who we can become and who we will become and that right now we have a portal that allows us to leave a lot of that excess baggage behind and go on to the future cleaner, lighter, happier, healthier, better. So, September 9th, Jupiter enters Libra. And Jupiter is all about benevolence, it's all about wisdom, it's all about widening our horizons and updating what we think about life, our own truth, what we believe in. And when it goes into Libra, then what we believe in regarding love, relationships, aesthetics, beauty, the arts, and how we get satisfaction in life, and of course monetary value as well, how we interact with other people, these subjects are going to be upgraded, are going to change. But Libra also has to do with an acute sense of lack. I need to really understand what I'm missing so I can go and get it, it's a cardinal sign, and have my equilibrium. So our sense of lack regarding what we're lacking to uh, get that equilibrium is going to get much sharper. We're going to get wiser regarding that aspect as well. September 10th, Saturn squares Neptune for the last time, <laughs> for the next couple of years, I think it's for the next nine years, seven or nine years. And we're going to experience it like for three weeks, three and a half weeks. And Saturn is all about boundaries. It's all about us living in a world with rules, reality, no bull. This is the way it is, whether we like it or not. And Neptune, our ideal, our um, escapism from that reality, the way we either wish it to be or the way we are afraid it is because it has to do a lot with fears and anxieties as well. So it's all about our imagination and our passivity. And it's about us understanding that we cannot remain in that space of either being anxious regarding what could happen and remaining passive because of that or remaining hopeful that things would turn out for the best and remaining passive because of that because we have this naivety no it's about interacting with reality as it is there is a term in Japanese philosophy called genjutsu which means the way things are. Not how we wish them to be, not how we are afraid that they might be, just the way they are. So it's about interacting with reality. And it's about us understanding that we need to play within the boundaries and the rules set by greater forces. It's again, it's us and the rules that we've put down in, pl in place, squaring the forces of nature, the uncultured, greater things we'd have no control of whatsoever. So it's about how we deal with these forces of nature as well. And this is a time that a lot of people are down, and a lot of people are a bit depressed. And it's about not letting that depression get you down and, 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 and not lending a, head, a hand to that doom and gloom, but continuing to build the structures that you believe in 
within your own realities and working hard to make your dreams come true. So, what's next? September 16, we, ha we, ha 16, we have the last eclipse for this eclipse season. It's a lunar eclipse in 24 degrees Pisces. This is a time in which the emotional world, our own emotional world, is really cast into place who we are and who we are going to be until next February, the next eclipse season, that again hits the same degree, as I said. But it's about us realizing how much we've changed for the last nine months. We had this uh, Mars retrograde and we had all these crazy transits and a lot of mutable energy and we've been going back and forth and reinventing ourselves and changing. And this is about us realizing emotionally who we became and who we are right now. And not only realizing it and letting that cast into place and get the new form, but about handing it back to society, to the outside world, to the general public, to the universal womb, Pisces. Mercury, thank God, is going to get direct at um, September 22nd and we're all going to uh, have a sigh and breathe uh, deep and be more happy about it because this promises to be a very strong Mercury retrograde. And uh, September 23, Venus enters Scorpio and promises to make our relationships and the way we get monetary funds and satisfaction in our life much more intense and make our hunger bigger. We would want more and it, it would have to be a very intense enfolding experience. Mars enters Capricorn at uh, September 27th and will make our actions and our entrepreneurship and even the way we deal with our own desires much more responsible and much more adult and contained in a sense because we would understand the impact it would have on others and in our society. And on September 30th, we have a new moon in Libra, which is absolutely an amazing time to uh, put down in your, in your calendars to start new uh, projects and um, new endeavors. So, especially if it has to do with other people like groups and uh, interacting with other people in your life. I want to thank you for listening to this September forecast and special reports, so special report for the eclipses. And of course, if you want to study evolutionary astrology with me, if you want to have consultations or you have any questions, you can always reach me through the details at the slide, on the slide at the end of this video. This is Boaz Feiler. Thank you. Bye-bye.